Hello everyone, this is Sister Gloria. I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 64 and I'm just going to read verse 1. I've already prayed and so let me go ahead and read the word. It says, Oh, that you would burst from the heavens and come down, how the mountains would quake in your presence. Look, y'all, when I when I uh, first read this, I, I had no understanding, but some years later, I'm praying, and this um, first scripture came out of my mouth, and I was like, I was shocked, because I, I know I didn't know it, but the Holy Spirit, he knew. So, sometimes, y'all, we want the Lord to come down and, 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 and intervene in whatever's going on in our lives, and sometimes he does, but sometimes he don't. So, if he don't, it's all right, because the Lord, sometimes he wants us to wait for him. And see, if we go before him, we could mess up everything. You see, God's timing, his thoughts, and his ways are nothing like ours. So when we wait on God, we know we're going to get the best. And even, in, even when we don't hear him, and we don't see nothing happening in the natural but in the spirit, I believe God is working something out. Now, do I always trust him? And I got to be honest, I, I don't. And that don't make God not who he is. We still should trust him. I, we have, I know I do, I got too much evidence of the things that he's already done in my life. And so... What I'm, what I'm trying to say is don't make no sudden moves because God is working things out. And so if we go and we do something and we have not been given instructions to do those things, we're going to mess up everything. So people of God, no sudden moves, not unless you know that you know that you know that God has said move.